we're saying? It's literally gone. <laughs> Panic! <laughs> and you pour the alcohol into your shoe and you, you down it. What on earth have I bloody, can I say bloody? Okay. <laughs> so uh, this year, uh, Shipface Shakespeare is doing a Midsummer Night's Dream, an entirely serious Shakespeare production, rehearsed fully as a normal production would be. We are six professionally trained actors. Four hours before the start of the show, one actor starts drinking. Completely off our face. Not, I'm pretending to be drunk, like, really drunk, <laughs> yeah. So today we are our third day of rehearsals, and we, are, we have three dances in the show, so today we're just going through the dances, going through the blocking. Um, we're not, I think, I can speak for everyone when I say we're not very gifted at dance. <laughs> Oh, I can't work on this <laughs> because somebody's throwing a shoe at me. Get in, say your objective, make sure the plot continues and do that as quickly as possible and get off. It's really exciting to be able to make sure bits of the dance are all in sync so you can then pick out the drunk when they're on stage. You just throw in the drunk after a deep, you know, uh, a highly intense dramatic scene. In comes the drunk, smashes it apart, but then you can rebuild the drama back up again. I really enjoy the Shakespeare in the show as well. Like, for the sober actors, it's, it's when you get to weave those bits of Shakespeare. You go, oh, we're actually doing the scene. Oh, no, now it's completely changed because the drunk's in it. Kind of a balancing act. It's kind of a, a rehearsed play that we've done, but also like an improvisation game at the same time. And I think that's why audiences like coming to see it multiple times because it is, it, it is different every time. You know when you're doing the show, yeah, where you need to get to next and how you get there will change, but you know the plot points and where you need to get to. I mean, it takes it back to how it was 400 years ago, minus the bear baiting and, and, you know, passing around a piss and shit bucket. You sort of, at the back of your mind, know that it's all going to go horribly wrong, no matter what you do. It's never the same group every night, because we all obviously play multiple characters, so every single show is different. Uh, there's lots of magic, there's lots of uh, naughty things in A Midsummer Night's Dreams, which is a little bit sexy. <laughs> Just that everyone is always playing different characters, a different character's drunk. It's always a different group of people, you know. It would be harder to make it the same. So I am, I'm excited, scared, worried, anxious, but can't wait to do it. And the audiences usually go pretty rowdy and we want them to be rowdy as well. Yeah. Also, you're going to be involved in it. You never know. The drunk might run into the crowd and you may get involved in the show and you could be on the back row of the theatre. You just don't know.